Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. Today's video, we are doing the Ipsy unbagging and try on. Yes. So this is what the Ipsy bag looks like this month. It is a denim fabric that is lined with hot neon orange. And also what's really awesome about the zipper is that it's in the shape of lips. I love it. This is super cute. And also a big thank you to Ipsy and the brand partners for the products in this video. As you guys know, I am an Ipsy creator. So I do a baggings every month on my channel to kind of show you guys some of the products that are going to be dispersed in some of the bags throughout this month. So as you guys know, there's tons of products. There's like 40 products a month that get customized like in 300 or so different ways. It's crazy. So I get to go in for a meeting every single month, look at all the products, kind of choose my top favorites, and that is what I'm showing you guys today. So I do have a few more products in my bag than the usual subscription bag, but that's just to kind of show you guys what are in the bags this month and how to use the products. But before we get into this video, if you guys are brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and also ring the little bell as well, so that way you get notified for future videos. Now let's go ahead and get on into this try on ipsy on back say hi to ollie he got a haircut you guys how cute is he yeah he looks like a little mini elsa now <laughs> i look at his superman shirt I am super excited for the very first product right here, you guys, because I actually use this every day in my own hair care routine. I love this stuff. I've already put some in my hair earlier, but I've been letting my hair air dry and it's still a little bit damp, but I'm gonna add a little bit more. But what this is, this is the Briogeo Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protecting Cream. So you just throw this in your hair when it's damp before you apply any heat on it. You just take a little dollop size, rub it through your hands, and then just put it through your hair. But what's awesome about it, it's gonna protect against heat up to 425 degrees, which is great. And it's gonna really enhance the shine and the softness of the hair. I really love Briogeo's products. Like their hair mask too is absolutely amazing. But after you get done putting it all throughout your hair, you're just gonna go ahead and blow dry it and style it any way that you want. So I'm actually gonna go and blow dry my hair and then straighten it real quick. Okay, so my hair is all done. It doesn't look like a hot mess anymore. So now we're gonna go and keep pampering and we're gonna use a sheet mask. So these are two sheet masks that I got in my bag this month and these are the Biobel sheet mask. I'm so excited because we know how much I love Biobel. And can I just say that I have been pronouncing this wrong the entire time. I have talked about these all over my Snapchat, my Instagram stories, my YouTube channel, and I've been pronouncing it Biobel, but it's Biobel. <laughs> Of course, I've been mispronouncing that. You guys, I struggle with pronouncing words and I know you guys know that, so I'm just, I'm laughing right now. But these are the Biobel ones and they are amazing. So each bag, it gets two sheet masks and the ones that I got are the hashtag stay gorgeous and hashtag I woke up like this. So these are really, really great because what they're gonna do is they're gonna minimize any fine lines that you have. They're gonna help like firm and boost the radiance in your skin to really give it a youthful looking glow. So I really love applying these before I put on any makeup because it just really hydrates the skin and really preps the skin for makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the hashtag stay gorgeous one because this is actually like one of my favorite ones by them. It hydrates and nourishes and has almond oil and vitamin E in it. So it's really going to soften and moisturize the skin. So as you can see, I already have my foundation done. So we're going to get into the makeup now. And I'm keeping things very light today. I'm wearing the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Really nice, lightweight on the skin. I'm going to go run some errands with Joel. So I don't want like a full face of foundation. But we're going to go into the powder that I got in here. This is the Winky Lux Diamond Complexion Powder in the shade Medium. So this is what it looks like right here. How cute is that? So this is a really great lightweight buildable powder that is really going to illuminate the skin, but also really diffuse any imperfections you may have on the skin. So I'm actually going to use a little bit. I'm gonna put some underneath my eyes because I already did my concealer and my foundation. So I wanna set everything. I'm actually gonna do a little bit on my eyelids too. So that way they're all ready for um, eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna do a little bit right here because I have two little blemishes that are actually healing right there. I'm just going to lightly tap this around my skin. Okay, so next up in my bag, I have the Luna by Luna highlighter in the shade Calypso. So this is a baked highlighter that is really long lasting on the skin, but as you can see, I think this is going to be a little bit too gray, toby toned for my skin. So, oh, that is so pretty. That is so pretty and look how reasonable the size is too. It's like really big. So I'm actually gonna use this as an eyeshadow today. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop right into the Lorac 
Pro palette right here. It's the new one. And this is the Beauties Who Brunch Pro palette. So I actually went to their event and oh my God, you guys, it was so pretty. It was so pretty. So these shades are like perfect for the springtime. So I really wanted to pull this out just to create a look with it real quick. I don't know what I'm going to do, but we're going to wing it. All right, so I'm trying to like work out colors for what I'm gonna do to kind of match this eyeshadow right here. So I think I'm gonna go into Mimosa right here. It's a really pretty kind of light peachy tone. I'm just gonna take a blending brush, dab that in, and just put this in the crease. Okay, so next up I'm gonna go into Valet, and Valet is this really nice like kind of light gray color, and I'm gonna focus this a little bit more concentrated in my crease and not bring it so high up, because I still want this like light kind of peachy color to still show. So we're gonna focus this more in the crease. And these are just some nice light transition tones just to kind of help blend out that one on the lid when we put that on. All right, so now we're gonna go into that baked highlighter and I'm just gonna take a cream color brush and I'm just going to put this in and I'm gonna pack this on the lid. Ooh, that's pretty. Next up, I'm gonna take French Toast and it's this really pretty shimmery taupe shade. It's a little bit more of a brown than um, the one that we put on our lid. So I'm also gonna add a little bit of Max Fix Plus to this. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and place this on the outer corner. All right, so the one down part about this palette right here is there's like no good like medium tones. It's a very editorial palette. So everything's very light, but I kind of want to add a little bit more definition in the outer corner of the eye. So I'm gonna go into the Anastasia Modern, Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm gonna grab this warm taupe one right here. This is called warm taupe. And I'm gonna take it on a precise pencil brush and just slowly work it in the outer corner and blend it out just to create a little bit more definition. All right, so next up I'm gonna take a little bit of gluten-free and gluten-free is this kind of nice frosty shimmery shade up here. And I'm just going to Place this underneath the brow bone just to highlight a bit. Oh, look at that, holy moly. That is a lot more than what I expected. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna blend it out a bit just to soften it up. Okay, so the next product that I got in my bag right here is the Lord & Berry Line Shade Eye Pencil and it's in the shade number 221 travel black. So this is supposed to be waterproof, so I'm actually going to tight line with it. And it also has an intense color that is going to last long on the eyes. All right, so now that my eyes are wandering a little bit, there we go. I swear, I tight line like every day, but my eyes still are not used to it. <laughs> but it's, at least it's waterproof. All right, so I finished my eyes and I opted for no false lashes. How crazy is that? I always wear false lashes and I'm not wearing them right now. So weird, but I've been using this thing called Rapid Lash that I got at Ulta and it really is making my lashes longer. Like my lashes were short little stubs. Now they feel so, I've been using it for a few weeks now and I'm really seeing a difference. I'm liking it, it's a thumbs up for me. So now that I have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and do some blush real quick. And of course I'm going into the Balm, Balm Beach Blush because I'm obsessed with this blush and I think it's so pretty. But I wanna put this on first because I'm gonna show you guys a blush chopper that I'm gonna put on top. And I'm just gonna take like this angled brush because I'm gonna kind of contour with my brush. Because I'm gonna kind of contour with my blush because I feel like it works better when I do that with my face shape because my face shape is kind of more rounder. It looks more elongated right now, but it actually is kind of rounder. So I'm gonna do this. And it kind of thin helps thins out your face too. So I just have it going right there, just like the same place I would kind of put my bronzer, but a little bit more on top, you know? You guys, they're cuddling in their dog bed right now. It is so cute. I'll insert a picture here. So yeah, I love how natural this blush is. It's such a really pretty like peachy apricot shade and it's just perfect for every day. That's why I've been using it nonstop. Like this thing is gonna hit Pam real quick. I'm gonna blend this out. Also, I just wanna let you guys know that the brush that I'm using right now is Ollie's favorite brush. Every single time he finds my brush bag, he digs this one out and he takes off of it. And this brush is like bigger than him. I don't know how he even carries it, but yeah, pretty. 
All right, so for my highlighter today that I'm gonna use is the IBY Beauty Highlighter in Bubbly. This is really pretty, you guys. It is a gorgeous kind of peachy rose gold shade. And what's awesome about it too is that you can either use it as a highlighter or you can use it as an eyeshadow. I honestly was gonna use this one as an eyeshadow, but I really like the taupey one of this. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this as like a blush topper kind of highlight on my cheeks. And I'm gonna go in with the Royal and Langnickel Moda Fan Brush. This is awesome, you guys. Like, this is so pretty. And also, the handle of it is waterproof, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna dust this in here and then dust this on my cheeks. So pretty. Oh my God, look at that. It's such a nice, like, natural glow. I'm just gonna bring some up here. Also, what's great about this brush that I'm already like seeing with it is that it's a little bit more dense. So it's not gonna like, you know, flop around. It's actually really gonna help work that product on the skin. All right, so last product that I have is a lipstick and I'm really excited about this because I really love the NYX Butter Lipsticks. Dude, they're so comfortable and creamy. And I have both color options here. So the first shade here that I have is called Ripe Berry, which is a really pretty deep berry shade. And then the second color that I have is called Lifeguard, which is a really pretty deep classic red. These are really smooth, creamy, and lightweight on the lips. So let's see, what color do I wanna go with today? I'm thinking the berry shade on my lips because I think it will go better. But here, let me swatch this one so you guys can see what the color looks like. Oh my God, of course. I think I put my finger into every makeup product. I need to find a napkin, hang on. That is the deep classic red right there, really gorgeous. That is like a perfect holiday color. I also like it because it's got a blue undertone to it. So it works really well for my skin. How, like what? What is this all over me? And then here is the shade Ripe berry oh yeah definitely gonna use ripe berry that one's pretty okay so first off I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the makeup forever aqua lip in the shade 13 C okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the lipstick oh yeah this is like hydrating All right, so this is what the lip color looks like. You can see, super hydrating, very creamy, very soft, highly pigmented, really nice. I like it. I never wear this shade, but I'm digging it. Yeah. All right, so I also almost forgot to show my hand cream of the month. Of course, I always have a hand cream in all my bags because yeah, I always have to pick the hand creams, you guys. They're my favorite. And this one is the More Rosa Noir Hand and Body Milk. It's cruelty-free, which is great. And it also has shea butter and macadamia oil, so it's gonna be like really hydrating and moisturizing. And, oh, I already can smell it. It smells so good, and I really love the consistency of it because it's not too thick and it's not too light. So it just really kind of just sinks into the skin and kind of feels like a satin silky finish on your hands. Like your, your skin just feels good. So I like it, you know, I love my hand creams. I'm always like, give me the hand creams, people, because I love them, and this is definitely going into my bag. Yeah, this is definitely going into my bag. This is like the perfect size for like your purse, so. Yeah. All right, so those are all the products that I got in my Ipsy bag this month, yes. And I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying the try-ons. I'm really having fun kind of like showing you guys like the products and how to use them and how they work and all that fun stuff. And also let me know in the comments down below what you guys got in your Ipsy bags this month because I always love seeing what you guys get. And also if you film your videos, let me know as well and I will go check them out and leave a comment. And also a big thank you to Ipsy and all the brand partners for these products in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unbagging and try on. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. So that little thing right there is Joel being loud in the background.